Create a custom block for your Moodle site. Moodle Plugin is a patch of code to extend and customize the functionality of the Moodle beyond Moodle core functionalities. A plugin can be a block, module, local plugin, course format, enrollment method, authentication method, web service, reports and many more. Create a new block folder in your Moodle blocks. Name your block plugin folder. Let us start creating the files and subfolders for your Slack block plugin with version.php. Version.php defines the version of your block which allows to make sure your block plugin is compatible with the given Moodle site, as well as spotting whether an upgrade is needed. The Moodle internal is a basic check if a PHP file should not be loaded on its own class files. It is a best practice to use this line in every Moodle page. Plugin variable enable you to add additional features and functionality to Moodle core. The plugin version is the version of your plugin. The format is partially date based with the format. Year, month, day and 24 hour time can be from 1 to 99. Every new plugin version must have this number increased in this file, which is detected by Moodle core and the upgrade process is triggered. The plugin requires, is the minimum version number of Moodle core that your plugin requires. It is only possible to install version 4.1, unless you have the version 3.9 or later. The plugin component is the Frankenstyle component name in the form of plugin type. It is used during the installation and upgrade process for diagnostics and validation purpose, to make sure the component is a block, or a module, or a course, or a local component. Let us create language strings for your block plugin, by creating a subfolder lang, with a default English language folder. Create the language file for your Slack block plugin. Strings are defined via the associative array string provided by the string file. The array key is the string identifier, the value is the string text in the given language. Moodle supports over 100 languages and English is the default language. It is mandatory that any manual text must be written in language strings for Moodle, to identify the language defined in lang folder. Create the block class for the plugin. Create the block class for the plugin. The init method is an essential part to pass the class variables. CFG stands for configuration. CFG is a global variable contains Moodle's web root, Moodle data, database configuration settings and other config values. This title is to display the title in the header of your block. Get string converts an array of string names to localized strings for a specific plugin. It looks formal when you code with language strings instead of manual text. The config method states that the block has a settings.php file. This method specifies whether your block wants to present additional configuration settings. Get content method should define the content variable of your block. If the content type is a block type text, then content is expected to have the text and footer variables.
Instance allow multiple method indicates whether you want to allow multiple block instances in the same page. You could also add CSS class by creating your styles for your block. Create a README file to help install and know the pledge and purpose. Finally define the permissions for your pledge and by creating a DB folder with access.php file. Add instance will allow the user to add the block. My add instance will allow the user to add the block to their dashboard. Cap type will read or write the capability type. For security reasons system prevents all write capabilities for the guest users and not logged in users. A context level is a context where the roles can be assigned. There are six context levels. Site, user, course category, course, block and activity module. Archetype specifies the defaults for roles with standard archetypes. This is used in installs, upgrades and when resetting roles. There are eight roles, manager, course creator, teacher, editing teacher, student, guest, authenticated user and authenticated user on site home. Each capability has four access levels, allow, prohibit, not set and prevent. Clone permissions from, is when you add a new capability, you can tell Moodle to copy the permissions for each role from the current settings. Basic risks is for protecting the content. Moodle has the protections. Risk spam, risk personal, risk XSS, risk config, risk manage trust and risk data loss. Create settings.php, which is optional unless you wish to add additional settings for your pledgeon. You can add a heading or a text setting. You need to know what are the arguments the constructor admin setting would take. Name is a block slack heading. Visible name is a string heading for your settings. Description is a another string with a short text. Update the string values in the language file. We have created all the required files and folders for the block. Now install the pledge by navigating to Site Administration. It is good to enable debugging mode when you are testing the pledge and code. Add the Slack block and do test the block is running successfully. You can add more than one block, as the pledge and code defines the method instance allow multiple. The student can add the Slack block to their dashboard, by defining my add instance capability, in access.php.
It is good to test your Moodle code with syntax errors with the Plegens, Code Checker, and Moodle PHP Doc Check. If you wish to uninstall your Plegen, navigate to Plegens, Plegens Overview and click the Uninstall option.